Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install PyCharm IDE on Windows 11. So let's go. So at first you have to come to the browser and type here PyCharm. And then here you can see we have JetBrings. Just go there, PyCharm, download, click here. And then here you can see we have option here, PyCharm. So go with the .exe Windows version, click here, download. And it will actually start downloading. I already have this. Now let me show you. Let's go to the downloads folder, and here you can see I got the PyCharm. Before PyCharm, you have to install Python. So let's go how to download Python. You just have to type here Python. Okay. Then Python download and hit enter. And here you can see download Python. Click here. Then if you hover on downloads, hover cursor on downloads, here you can see the latest version of Python. Just click here and it will actually start downloading. I already have this. So I'm not going to download this. I'm going to just install it now. So at first I will go with the Python. Okay. So double click on it. Add python.exe to path. So we'll select it so that we don't need to actually set environment variable manually. And we'll actually go for the custom installation. So here you can see we have to check all the things and we'll check it for all users. Okay. All users. Now go for the next. And now here we'll select install Python for all users. Okay. And everything is done here. And we have installed it. Here you can see we are installing it in C drive, right? Okay, now click here install and hit yes and it will actually install in C drive. So guys, here you can see setup was successful. Now click here close. And now we have to check that if it is added to the environment variable or not. So type here ENB and here you can see edit the system environment variables. Just click here open. Go to the environment variables. Select path under system variable. Click here edit. And here you can see we got the Java JDK also and yes, Python here you can see. So we got the Python. Okay, here you can see and everything. Okay, fine. Now we don't need to add environment variable manually. Okay, fine. Now uh, our Python is ready. Now to check the Python latest version, you have to actually go for the CMD and type here Python hyphen hyphen version. Here you can see Python 3.13.7. And now we have to install PyCharm. Here you can see we got the PyCharm here. Now double click on it. Now click here next, next, and just create desktop shortcut. So add it and update path variable. Okay. So just check it. Then here create accessories.py. Yes, we'll check it also. And Update context menu, add open folder as project. Okay, fine. So we don't need to check it. Now let's go for the next and then install. So, guys, here you can see we have successfully installed it. Now check it, run PyCharm and then finish. Click here finish. And then actually it will open the PyCharm IDE import settings. So we are actually check here that skip, uh, skip import. Okay. Now here customize if you want to actually customize this. So just click here customize and then select any other you know uh, theme if you want and then um, language we have then font let's say i want to change it to 16 and then uh, we'll actually let as it is and now click here new project okay so we'll select here new and then uh, here we actually want to change the location let's say i want to change the location to let's say downloads so I'll go to the downloads folder and here I'm going to actually create a new folder and here I will say test yamin hit enter open the folder select the folder so now my uh, file will actually save in the downloads folder and then test yamin folder and then here we will check python version so drag and drop it and here you can see this is the latest version so we select it and that's it now here we have to actually now click here create and here we go now let's say i want to create a new file so here we'll click here this plus icon okay and here we'll say python file so select it and let's name it as let's say test yamin okay hit enter so we got this file test yamin dot i fine now here I'm going to actually paste a code I have actually copied from the internet and now I will run it by clicking here and here you can see we got I mean we print from 1 to 5 
right and with the hello world also here you can see at first we have to print hello world and then we have to print from 1 to 5 and here you can see the result so guys that's it i hope you understand thank you so much for watching this video